how to use sum if in Excel to solve a real problem. Here I have a sales list with the data, customer name, product, category, ID, quantity, and then the total of the sale. Okay, so let's say I want to know how much the total sales are. So let me type here total sale and then to make the math. It's pretty easy. I just type equal and then I use the sum function. So I just double click here, one, two, okay. Now I just need to select the entire F column. That way I'm gonna have the sum of the entire column, okay? So if I press enter here, 13,000 are the total sales. So, okay, it's pretty easy to do, but let's say now I wanna know the total sales by category. So here, for example, I have the category A, C, D, B, and then again, A, A, D, B, A, uh, and so on. Okay, so here I have uh, four types of different categories. So let me type here, uh, total sale by category, okay? And then I have the category A, and then B, C, and D. So how can I know how much I, the sales are for the category A and then for the B and then for the C and then for the category D? How can I make the calculation here in Excel? So in this situation here, if I want to know a more specific data, like I don't want to know the total sales, but I want to know the total sales by category. Here uh, is a really good example to use the sum if function in Excel. So every time in Excel, you do not want the entire result, but just a specific part, fraction of this result. Uh, you need some conditions, some criteria. You can use some if to help you achieve this result. So here, I want to use equal, some if. There is two options here, some if and then some ifs. It's pretty similar to each other, but some ifs, you have more criteria to use, okay? So if you have more than one, just one condition, you can use some ifs. If, but if you have just one condition, you can use some if, okay? So if you have more than one condition, use some ifs. It's pretty easy. So let's uh, just use the some if here. In another video, I can make uh, some ifs function in a practical example, okay? But let's uh, talk about some if uh, range. What I can select by range? The range is the category, because the category is my criteria, is my condition. So I just need to select the entire column here, or you just can click, drag, and hold the range you want to select, okay? But here I just want to select the entire column C, and then I'm going to press comma. What is my criteria? So if I want to know the total sales by category A, I just need to type here category A, or instead of I just type category A, I can just select this cell here, comma, what is the sum range? The sum range is here the column F, so I just need to select the entire column F, and then I'm gonna close parentheses and then press enter. So the total sales by the category A is 3,400, okay? So if I want to, to make the, the same function some if to the category B, category C, and then the category D. Just need to click here in the cell and then click, hold, and drag down, okay? Click, hold, and drag down. This way I can have the total sales by category, category A, B, C, and D. Now to check if these results are correct, I can just make it here a total, and then I'm gonna use equal sum, sum function, double click it, one, two, okay? Let me select here, click, hold, and drag down. And then I'm gonna press enter. Okay, as you guys can see here, the total sales that I have here is exactly the same that I have here. Okay, the decimal number here are one and here are 08. Just let me select this cell here and then click in home and then I'm gonna increase the decimal. So okay, yes, it's pretty much the same. So yeah, this is the way you can use some if in Excel, if a practical example. And if you have some questions, just comment below and I see you in the next video.